Every day we read and hear about climate change and the deterioration of the natural environment. All day, all you hear about nonstop is how bad it's getting. What's the president going to do? What are the CEOs going to do? Well, while governments debate and corporations pontificate, the problems are getting worse. But the thing is, the potential for real change doesn't lie with them. It lies with us, the people. We, as individuals, can start working toward a solution today simply by making better choices. Better choices about how we interact with our environment. Better choices about the products we use and how we dispose of them. Really, our choices are the only thing we can control. And by making better choices, the change can begin today. But where to start? Modern life has become so consumptive that just trying to figure out what to do better can, in itself, be overwhelming. So rather than stress ourselves out any further, let's begin with the basics. And what could be more basic than water? Water is essential for life on Earth. It is the most important resource we have, and we all impact the quality of our water. What our neighbors upstream do affects us. What we do affects all our neighbors downstream, from the people who live in town south all the way to the ocean. Fortunately, living in Colorado means there are very few people upstream. This is where the water starts, so that means we have some of the cleanest water in the country. We're pretty unique because five major rivers begin in Colorado that feed four of the biggest river basins in the country. But that good fortune also comes with responsibility and the opportunity to make a real difference. Living at the beginning of the watershed gives us the chance to take care of the water supply for all the people that live downstream from us. If we pollute the supply here, where the water starts, the water will never be cleaner than how we leave it. But most people don't know all that much about how their choices affect the water system. So here's a little background. All the water that flows through the city goes into two different systems. The first is called sanitary sewer. Any wastewater that goes through the plumbing in your house ends up here. It includes wash water, toilet water, and any other drains. This is the water that goes to the wastewater treatment plant. It's managed by the utility company, and even though it is treated, the system cannot remove everything. And in order to guard the water supply, help out the utility company, and keep treatment costs low, you should not put any chemical waste down your drains. This water eventually ends up back in the streams and rivers. The other sewer system is the stormwater drainage system. This is where the water goes that comes from the sky, your home gutters, street gutters, and any other water that doesn't go into the sanitary sewer system. All that water flows through the city and right back into the natural streams and rivers without being treated. That means it's vitally important for people to make good choices and guard this water system because they are the only line of defense. Here's an illustration. Let's pretend that this Enviroscape mock-up is the Colorado Springs area. We have the city, farms and agriculture, manufacturing, and construction. The land developers can kick up a lot of dirt and dust, and their machines can spill oil and other chemicals. The manufacturers discharge various liquid and airborne waste products. Farmers spread pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers. And in the city, we wash our cars, change the oil, we spread fertilizer on our lawns, and our pets poop on the ground. Then it rains. Sometimes it rains a lot. And all that stuff gets washed back into the streams and rivers. And look at them now. The stream you once wanted to fish in doesn't look so good, does it? Pretty gross. That's the impact of our entire community. But here's another example of how one single choice makes a difference. Let's say I'm changing my car oil and accidentally knock over a quart. 
What to do? Well, no one saw. So I think I'll just get out the hose and wash it into the gutter. There. Problem solved. But in truth, I've just created a much worse problem. That quart of oil eventually gets to a lake, creates an oil slick two acres big, and contaminates two million gallons of water. That's enough water for 100 people for an entire year. But before they can use it, it's going to cost a lot to clean it up. A better idea would be to soak up as much as I can with some paper towels, and then spread some kitty litter to soak up the rest. Easy. And I've just saved two million gallons of water. Making better choices can have real impact. Small changes can make big differences every day. Unfortunately, the better choice isn't always obvious. So let's get started with some solutions to everyday dilemmas. Our vehicles, as we all know, are some of the biggest polluters. Though we usually only think of them polluting the air, they're also a major source of water pollution. However, unlike the smog our vehicles put out, we have a lot of control over how much they pollute the water. Most of the fluids in your vehicle are toxic. Oil can kill most aquatic life, and as we've already seen, it only takes a little bit of oil to ruin a lot of drinking water. Antifreeze is really dangerous stuff. It seriously depletes oxygen from water, and it's a neurotoxin. It can cause brain damage. Steering fluid, brake fluid, and of course gasoline, they're no good either. So the best way to keep these things out of the water is to just maintain your vehicle. That means keeping the fluids in your vehicle at their correct levels, and if your vehicle has leaks, to get them fixed. When you see that your vehicle is leaking, put a drip pan or some absorbent surface underneath it when it's parked at home. Try to do all of your maintenance in a covered area. If you do spill something, clean it up right away with rags or something else to soak it up. Never wash spills away with a hose or hot seat. This doesn't really clean up anything. If you use a hot seat or some other degreaser on your engine, do it in a confined area with a drain. Keep old batteries, filters, and fluids in a covered area. Also, if you do any sanding or grinding on your vehicle, keep it confined to an enclosed space, and be sure to sweep up the filings and dust when you're finished. The metals are a lot worse than most people think. One of the best things you can do is to recycle your old oil and antifreeze. You can do that either at various automotive shops around town or at El Paso County Solid Waste Management. The number there is 719-520-7878. And finally, don't pour oil and other automotive fluids on the ground or into storm drains. There's one more way that our vehicles can contaminate the water. It's not by driving them, but by washing them. You might not think about it, but washing your car out on the driveway can be a very polluting way to spend a Sunday. In addition to the dirt, grease, and oil washed off a car, there are metal, brake lining, rust, and rubber. Not to mention the washing detergent itself. All of this gets washed down the storm drain and into the water system when we wash our cars at home. The best solution is to use a commercial car wash. Did you know car washes use 60% less water for the entire wash than you would use to just rinse at home? They're also required to treat their wash water before they discharge it, and some even recycle their own water. If you have to wash your vehicle at home, there are a few things to keep in mind to help minimize the impact. First of all, wash it on gravel or the lawn where the surface can absorb the water. Also, use plain water with a coarse sponge or a biodegradable soap. And third, use a trigger nozzle and bucket to conserve water. There's another large source of water pollution in our homes, but it doesn't come from where you'd think. That's because the culprits are our best friends. Even if your pets are completely healthy, their poop can carry viruses and bacteria, like roundworm and E. coli, that are really harmful. Also, as poop decays in water, it releases ammonia that can kill fish and other aquatic life. That's why it's very important to pick up after your pet. It keeps our trails and parks nice, but more importantly, prevents poop from getting washed into our water supply. It's not that hard, and it makes a big difference. Those are the simple things you can do to guard the quality and enjoyment of our streams. Your efforts will make a big difference. And, knowing you're doing your part, is a peace of mind you can count on.
And that's just the beginning. There are an unlimited number of positive choices we can make on a daily basis. Want to learn more? Check out springsgov.com slash stormwater. Creating a better world can begin today. One choice at a time.